What's going on, Mr. Rap Nerd? And it is the last release day of the month, so you know what that means. I'm back at you with another pickup slash haul video of physical media, which is 4K, Blu-ray, and even DVD sometimes. If you've seen the past videos, you, you're like, why are you not in your car like you usually are? You're in your room. So this time, I didn't go to the store to buy my new release because there was only one new release that was actually in a store that was around me. I did get another new release, but that one's not in store, so I figured, why waste time and actually go to the store for one movie when I can just pre-order it and have it here and I can open it and unbox it with y'all as well as this other new release that dropped. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go over my new releases that were in the store and you know brand new releases and ones that I ordered. I had a few films delivered over the weekend but I held off for today and I actually had another one delivered. And good thing is I ordered so many movies at one time I don't know what these are so this is gonna be a surprise for me as it is for you. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start with the new releases that did drop today. And if you follow what's scheduled, I'm pretty sure you can guess what one of these is. It should be no surprise, but let's get, get, get it. If you can see my face, one of these I'm not happy about. First, I had to get Dungeons and Dragons. Blu-ray. I still like the slip cover. Looks exactly like you, you've seen it online, which is a big plus for me. If you have not checked this film out, it is a blast of a time. It works so well. I'm not really into like this type of films like back in the day, but I, they just did so many things right. I have a review on my channel if you want to know my, my full thoughts on it. But um, yeah, slip cover. Blu-ray. Nothing two spectacular deleted scenes and extended scenes. Hmm. So is there like an extended cut? Let me see. Cause I wish they would do that, yo. You know how they have deleted and extended scenes. I wish they would make a version of the movie with those extended and deleted scenes in there. I, I, I would prefer to watch them like that instead of just like going to their special features, which is it's cool. Some people like that more, but I like more movie. That's just me, you know what I mean? No, it looks like it's the same film cause it still says 134 minutes. I don't see any other separate timing so either way great film one of my favorites of the year now next i'm about to get into a movie that i'm not happy about seeing and i feel like i've been had so this is the haunting and they sent me the version without a slip cover from what i saw and again i went i go to blu-ray.com for all of the releases they said on there it's supposed to come with slip cover packaging i wonder if they changed that or something because the only reason I ordered this is because it said it came with slipcover and this does not come with slipcover. So I'm gonna return this because no, I don't, no. So I'm not happy about this. These next orders are things that I got from eBay. Woo, got some heat in here. <laughs> First film that I got is Silver Bullet, the Shout Factory version. This was a brand new one still in the plastics. For those who don't know, this is from the 80s. And I've seen this movie like one time and I recently re-watched it. And I can definitely put this in the category of my favorites. Like I wanna do a new top 10 wolf films because this one makes it like, like I don't watch a lot of 80s films. I've seen a lot of them, but I don't remember a bunch of them. So recently I've been re-watching all of them that I can. And man, this is a great film. It takes place in 4th of July as well. So I'm a big stickler for time period specific films. It's a classic. It was one of Stephen King's joints. And this art is just super duper fire, man. Like, look at that. Like, Shout Factory. They just can do no wrong for me, man. They just can do no wrong. So, that's one of them. Another one, this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. This is one of the best horror sequels ever. I love this film. It is like a complete opposite of what the first one was. Like, the first one was very serious. And you could tell that they were really going for the gusto as far as scares. But this one is just straight up campy. It's just like camp overload. Like it knows it's silly. It goes into the territory of kind of being comedy. Like it's not full on comedy, but it's just being self-aware and knowing what it is. And it's just a dope way to do a sequel, you know, to completely just change everything. And again, ah, slip cover. That is that artist artwork is just so beautiful. Clutter's Edition, Shout Factory, Screen Factory can do no wrong in my eyes. And I'm just happy to have this in my collection. I've never had it, honestly. I've seen it before, but just never bought it. And when I saw this cover, and this is used, by the way. You know, I bought it on eBay again. 
and the thing about eBay, they have a lot of used films on here, a lot of out of print Blu-rays and, and special edition stuff. But it, it, when you look at the pictures, what you see is what you get. Like every movie that I've ordered from eBay has all been great quality. Like you could wrap this up and sell it for news because they had a great the quality. Yet. So I just wanted to also say that it's not brand new. This is used, gently used. Next is this bad boy. Another gently used Blu-ray, Screen Factory, Tales from the Hood, one of the best horror anthologies ever made. Man, this thing is so dope. And this artwork, oh my God, I had to cop that. Look at that. That's so fire. Your most terrifying nightmare and your most frightening reality are about to meet on the streets. If you've never seen this film, give it a watch if you're a horror fan. This is one of the best horror films ever and I love how it operates it's, each story is terrifying for its own right I had to pick this up for some reason I didn't think I would be able to find it but man I found it on eBay pretty quick and when I saw it great price I had to snatch it up and again this is another one that is used but still perfect condition perfect utterly perfect the only wear and tear that may be on some of these is kind of like a little chipping right here other than that mm, 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 it's hard all right, so we're down to the last package. Let's go ahead and get this thing open it up to see what's in here. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad I said this earlier, but DVD, the Mexico Trilogy. There actually is a Blu-ray version of this that's out. I saw it at Best Buy, as a matter of fact, but the version that they have is just a disc with all three. And again, I'm a stickler for having collector's edition box sets having a slip box with this one. This is just a good trilogy. Um, Robert Rodriguez, this is him in his prime. I wish he would go back to doing more stuff like this. I feel like he's kind of blemished his name a bit by being able to just be so talented, honestly. Like, the guy's talented. He can operate cameras, he can do this, and switch his style up, but he needs to go back to what is his style. I wanna see a movie of him with, you know, doing what he did here, man. Because. Quentin Tarantino gets a lot of a lot of the shine for that style of filmmaking when both of them kind of crafted that. So I want to see him really go back to that. Sound like a broken record, but man, these movies are so freaking good. Like I said, these are these are DVDs, all three. And this is used again. So naturally, as I've said before, what I'm gonna do is just buy the Blu-rays and put them all in here. I just like this slip box. Really like it. So. Go back over all the films that I copped. Dungeons and Dragons. This bullshit ass haunting. Silver Bullet. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Tales from the Hood. And the Mexico Trilogy. So those are my pickups. Let me know in the comments what you pick up today if you did anything or what you may have just picked up recently over the weekend or whatever. Uh, i like to see what other folks have gotten. Some of y'all put me on game and stuff and I go get it too. So anyway, if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, thank you. It really helps my channel out. I want to grow this thing as much as possible. So spread the word if you can. And until next time, peace. Rap Nerd Productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.